Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make caramel corn or caramel corn, whichever way you like to say it. And this is what it looks like. This is so good. I love how the uh, caramel forms like a crust on the outside of the uh, popcorn. And when you break through, it's kind of crunchy. And when you break through it, the popcorn is soft and chewy. I mean, once you start, it's really hard to stop eating this candy. So whenever you're making any type of candy, it's a good idea to be familiar with your recipe and then have all your equipment ready, plus all your ingredients measured. So the first thing we need is a large baking sheet and you can either lightly butter that or spray it with one of those non-stick sprays. And then, of course, popcorn is the star here. So you will need, you will need like 10 cups of freshly made popcorn and um, you need in a large bowl and again either lightly butter or spray your bowl because once we pour the caramel on over top of that we don't want it to stick to the sides of the bowl. Now to make about 10 cups of popcorn you will need um, a half a cup 110 grams of the corn kernels and you can make your popcorn either just like right on the stove in a large if you have a large pot or I mean you can buy these kind of pop, popcorn machines that are pretty cheap and they make great popcorn so either way and then you will need also make sure you have a couple of um, large wooden spoons because we're going to toss the caramel and then have out one teaspoon that's six grams of baking soda and then you will need about one and a half teaspoons. I like to use kosher salt. Really, it's salt to taste, but if um, kosher salt, I find about one and a half, two teaspoons. If you're using, you can use sea salt or a table salt, you might want to use a little less because it tends to have a uh, stronger flavor. So now, to make our caramel, you will need a large, try to use a heavy bottom pot because we don't want uh, our caramel to scorch because we have to take it up to a high temperature. And um, so you will need one and a half cups, that's 300 grams of granulated white sugar, and just put that in there, along with a half a cup, 105 grams of firmly packed light brown sugar. And you will need four tablespoons, which is 55 grams of butter. I'm using unsalted, but I mean, you could use salted. That's fine as well. And a half a cup, 120 milliliters of just, you know, regular water. And our last ingredient is a half a cup, 120 milliliters of light corn syrup. So let's put all that in there. So now I'm going to put it on medium high heat and Stir it fairly regularly because we want that all that sugar to melt and then just bring it up to a boil. Okay, we're at a good boil here. So now what you want to do is wash down the sides of your pan from any sugar. Now there's two ways to do this. You can use a heat proof uh, pastry brush with some warm water and just, I'll just show you, and then just wipe it down like that. Or what I usually do, if you have a nice deep pot like I have, I just put the lid on for about a minute or two, and then the condensation will wash down the sides of your saucepan either way. So I'm just going to leave that on for about a minute. Okay, so that's about a minute. So there we have our syrup. So now what we're going to do is cook this till 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 149 degrees Celsius. Or this is the, the what you call the hard crack stage, which means if you don't have a thermometer, you can use a glass of cold water. And if you put the syrup into the water, it will form like really thin, stiff, brittle. If you break it apart, it's really brittle threads. So that's another way if you didn't have a thermometer. But I find the most accurate way is to use some type of candy thermometer. You could use the 
uh, mercury type. Try to get one with a clip on the back so it can clip to the side of your saucepan. Or you could also buy, which I've been using lately, is the digital with just the probe. And that's another way. So what we're going to do, you can stir this occasionally. We use a wooden spoon because the sugar crystals don't tend to stick to wood. Or uh, what I usually do is swirl my pan. You want to swirl the caramel or stir it because what we don't want is it to scorch and then it will taste burnt. So we're going to take this up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 149 degrees Celsius. So as your uh, caramel is uh, cooking, if you find some sugar crystals are developing on the sides of your saucepan, just take that uh, heat-proof pastry brush dipped in some warm water and just wash down the sides. You know, so you may have to do that periodically as it's cooking. Okay, we are at 300, so immediately take it off the heat. Let's get that out of the way. And then add your one teaspoon, which is six grams of baking soda. soda. Now be careful, this will foam up. And then with the wooden spoon, or I'm using a heat-proof spatula, just thoroughly mix that in. You can see it kind of gets all foamy and, but it will harden into a nice caramel coating. Okay, and then pour it over top. Be careful, as you know, this is very hot. I have a very, my uh, pots are cast iron, so they are very heavy. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. Okay, so now, take your two wooden spoons that have been buttered, and then we're going to toss this like we would a salad to evenly coat all of our popcorn. If you had, you know, the bigger the bowl, the better, because this one maybe to do with a larger one. Okay, that's looking really good. As you can see, it hardens into a nice clear caramel. We add that baking soda because it lightens the caramel, plus it, it helps with the browning. So I'm kind of happy with that. So now what we can do is, whoop, a little warm there, is just pour it onto our baking sheet. And, you, and then if you can do it with your fingers or you can use a fork, depending on how hot it is, you can just break it up into, or you can leave it in big clumps, I mean, whatever you like. Okay, so once you've broken it out as much as you want, then what we're going to do is just leave it to cool and harden. And then if you want to get really fancy, you could, once it's cool, you could drizzle the top with melted chocolate. You want to take this really over the top. Okay, so then, after it's cool, then, you know, this makes great gifts. I mean, people love getting it, as a, especially Christmas or really any time. So what you can do, I mean, you have little tubs. You could put it in by these, like, just these uh, clear cellophane party bags and put it in there and tie it with a pretty bow. Or you could put it in, like, um, get different containers. You could do that, or bags. I mean, it really makes a great gift. So I'm going to try this. Oh, that's really nice to get the caramel. It's sweet, crunchy, and then the popcorn underneath. I mean, once you, the problem is once you start eating that, you can't stop. So anyways, 
enjoy. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.